would you mind, please, explaining to me, like I'm a five-year-old, <laughs> how the market works before clean trade or the ice for renewables comes along? So who are the participants in this market and how does that all work? So I'll talk a little bit about what it's like being a buyer or seller uh, or trader of energy, both traditional and clean, to highlight how different the clean energy landscape has been. So if you want to buy, sell, or trade uh, natural gas or a lot of oil-linked uh, products, you can go to Chicago Mercantile Exchange. You can see the price today of, of what the uh, product you want to uh, buy or sell. And if you like that price, you can act on it today. If you want to buy, sell, or trade traditional power, on peak in Western PJM. You can log into Intercontinental Exchange, see a price today, act on it. If you own uh, Wind Farm X or Solar Farm Y and you wanna sell and you're running merchant and you wanna sell power for the next year, you call or email a bunch of humans who call and email a bunch of other humans and many months later, you may or may not have a transaction. Wow, really, so it takes months? At least. Uh, so long-term transactions can take over a year because these are, you're running an RFP. Oftentimes you're running multiple versions of an RFP. You give people weeks, if not months of lead time to submit information. You're then reviewing it, going back and forth, shortlisting. If one of those falls through, you restart. So it can be a very laborious process because it's all bilateral, one-to-one -one matching of these contracts, as opposed to having access to a true market. 